Last week, the BBC learned a valuable lesson about some subjects to talk about on the radio. And I'm sure a few presenters have taken note and won't fall into this trap as well. Quite funny, really. Have a look at this story with me. BBC Backlash. Five Lives Nicky Campbell inundated with furious listeners bashing broadcaster. Well, how about that? That's quite the headline, isn't it? Things like that make me very happy. Bashing the broadcaster. No, that doesn't sound, that doesn't sound right. No, that doesn't. Read on. BBC Radio 5 Live host Nicky Campbell was inundated by callers voicing outrage at the state of the BBC as several demanded a radical overhaul of the broadcaster. I wish I'd known that debate was going on because I would have been one of the callers. I promise you I would have phoned up to that. I don't listen to radio and if I did, 5 Live wouldn't really be top of my agenda to listen to, I don't think. Anyway, read on. Callers flooded the BBC this morning as Radio 5 Live host Nicky Campbell discussed whether the broadcaster was giving the country what it wants. No, it's taking what it wants, which is 159 quid a year. What people want is their 159 quid a year back and backdated as well. This comes as the BBC licence fee comes under review this month by Culture and Media Secretary Nadine Dorries. The corporation is preparing for a reduction in funding from taxpayer money as the number of people refusing to pay a licence fee grows. Yeah, I like that. That's a great last sentence, isn't it? And you all play a big part in that, talking about it and persuading everybody and sharing these videos. It's great. We should all be very proud of ourselves for that last bit. The number of people refusing to pay a licence fee grows. It's good news, isn't it? We're all part of that. One BBC listener named Tony phoned into the Nicky Campbell programme on Radio 5 Live to complain that the BBC is not an up-to-date service. Yeah, agreed. Agreed with that. BBC Radio 5 Live listener, Tony. When Mr Campbell asked if he was getting what he wants from the BBC, Tony said, I don't think so, no. Over the Christmas period, the average age of the films being shown were from the 50s. That's crazy, isn't it? Madness. That is so out of date, it's just rehashing the same old stuff year after year. That is not an up-to-date service. Line of Duty, we love it. Yeah, it was popular, wasn't it? I will, you know, credit where it's due to the BBC. Line of Duty was popular. The Offenders, another great series but you could count them on your hand, yeah? When Mr. Campbell raised popular quiz show Pointless, Tony rebutted. I think the name of that show is actually relevant to what it is. Pointless. <laughs> Tony, if you watch this video, message me. I'll buy you a pint, mate, because quality, quality. Oh, I wish I'd phoned in. Mr. Campbell said, come on, we can't do stuff that is everyone's cup of tea. However... Tony called for an urgent radical overhaul of the BBC, insisting the broadcaster had to rethink the licence fee. He said the answer is to make it more commercial, like the satellite networks. They have to give the chance to the consumer. Well, Tony did sound intelligent and straight to the point and on the ball with it as well. And as I said, Tony, you're watching this, mate. <laughs> Drop me an email. I will take you for a pint, mate, because that's good quality conversation there on the BBC. I like it. Also in the programme, one caller, Pradeep, in Loughborough, said, It's all reality rubbish. Cooking programmes five days a week, quiz programmes five days a week. Don't forget antiques programmes five days a week as well. Even Darren in Linlithgow, who said the BBC benefits the whole world, thought the licence fee needs to be capped. Now, before the last Royal Charter, which is the thing the BBC needs to be able to charge the licence fee, that was a few years ago. Now, before that, they polled a lot of the British public and I think it was something like 80% or was it 65%? It was a big number supported, I'll put it on the screen if I can remember, supported funding the BBC via the licence fee model. Now, the next Royal Charter is up in 2027 for negotiation. If they run that poll again, say with tens of thousands of people on the high streets of Britain, what do you think that number would be? Do you think it would be up there for that kind of number, supporting the licence fee anymore? Oh, I don't. I don't. I think it'll be a hell of a lot lower. I think it'll be a hell of a lot lower. Now, if you was to come out with this idea now and a government came out and said, we're going to start a brand new TV channel just for you, the people, your public service broadcast with radio and news and current affairs and dramas that no one's going to watch. But it can't show ads. So you've all got to chip in 159 quid a year to do it. Let's have a vote. What do you think would happen? Be like, oh, no, bugger off. But because it's been there so long and it's traditional people still continue to pay it, or people believe they have to pay it, or it's enforced so badly, people feel intimidated to pay it, and it's not right. It's not right, is it? Well, I don't think the BBC are going to be asking 
questions about itself on live broadcasts anymore, are they? Because it sounds like Nicky Campbell had to fight a few fires there. But um, fair play to them, fair play, credit where it's due, for bringing the topic up and actually being open to have a chat with it on a live BBC broadcast. You know, fair, fair play to them. But um, yeah, I don't think it went the way, I don't think it went the way they were hoping for. And this conversation isn't going away because so many people are turning against the TV licence with streaming and everything and being able to watch what you want whenever you want to watch it. You know, the only reason you'd want to pay for the TV licence is if you want to watch anything as it's being broadcast. But it just sounds and feels and seems old-fashioned now to wait for like Thursday at nine for your favourite show to come on, doesn't it? I can't imagine doing that. I want to put the streaming service on, watch what I want when I want to watch it. And if I just use streaming services and I don't use BBC iPlayer, no TV licence is required. It's that simple, isn't it? And I wish more people knew about it because uh, there'd be a lot less TV licenses being sold. Than it. But what do you think about all this? Do you think that was quite funny? Do you want to buy, what was his name? Tony, wasn't it? Do you want to buy Tony a pint with me? I think he earned it. And let me know what you think about the rest of the story in the comments below. And I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.